see that the floodlights slowly open up here in a beautiful, beautiful setting in Nandi as the Vodafone Fiji Fact continues the tournament proper. And this is the feature match, a repeat of last year's final. Suva up against Mba as they slowly meet each other. They become friends for a very brief moment. And then for 90 minutes of very good football, all that is put aside. As it's all about getting into the semi-final. Whichever of these two sides wins this game will top Group A and will meet Rewa in the second semi-final tomorrow. So the crowd slowly trickles in. And they've done so well. The supporters, they've traveled for three hours all the way from Suva and Ba with the likes of Sunny Isa, Maveli Konakama, Tuimasi Manuda, Avinesh Swami playing up front. There will be the solid players that will be leading them in this matchup here. Both these two sides playing here in neutral ground. And this will be a very, very good matchup indeed. And uh, Ba have uh, made uh, two changes uh, here from uh, the team that uh, started uh, at the INZ uh, Stadium, uh, winning uh, two games when they defeated Nandronga in their first game and Lambasa uh, in their second game. We've uh, seen that coach Yogen Radat have made uh, two changes. I say uh, Don Ro and Clarence uh, Clark, one of the imports, are uh, in the starting lineup for the Ba team, while uh, Melin Donro and uh, Tui striker Tui Masimanuda have been uh, relegated uh, to the reserve uh, bench. As uh, for uh, Suva, uh, we have uh, seen uh, that uh, they, coach Gurjit Singh have uh, named uh, a pretty young side in this uh, game. He has arrested uh, some of his uh, big names like uh, Samuel Ndunru and uh, midfielder Kenneth Oneyama from uh, Nigeria. And Samuel Abula is suspended for one match after being shown uh, two yellow cards. So he'll have to miss uh, this uh, game. So we look uh, at this uh, Suva side, a pretty young side compared uh, to the experienced uh, players uh, that is uh, in the uh, bar team. Coach uh, Gurjit uh, Singh. Uh, we'll uh, try to use a new combination in this game. Earlier when I interviewed him uh, during uh, the build-up, uh, he mentioned that he will uh, use uh, some of his uh, new players uh, to see how they are functioning. And uh, he's not uh, really uh, worried about the result of this uh, match as Suba is already uh, into the uh, semi-finals uh, tomorrow. So this is uh, another uh, chance for him to look at his uh, players, which are the best ones that can uh, feature in the knockout uh, stages uh, tomorrow. We can see the referee of the match, uh, Salesh uh, Chant, speaking uh, to the two uh, captains, uh, Suvas uh, Lione Damu Damu and Ba goalkeeper Chone Rolulu as they shake hand. So Ba will be uh, defending uh, uh, the Nandi Hospital end and uh, Suva to start from uh, the Nandi uh, town end uh, of uh, Prince Charles uh, Park as the two teams uh, now get ready uh, for this uh, another exciting uh, game. It's also a battle between the referee and the, the Yogi Dart and also Gurjit Singh, but that's the man that's going to control this game. Shales Chand. There's Sunny Issa, the man who threw a lot of controversy, crossed over from his uh, former team to come here to Mba. So this is a very good, good, good setting for very good football. Sunny Issa, one of the goal scorers last weekend and such a beautiful ball player when he's in play and in, he's in motion and Suva knows that so this is Sakurai Naisua in the middle Naisua and Aaron Underwood so all waiting on the referee's whistle Shales Charge is making sure all is set and he signals the start of 90 minutes football a repeat of last year's final. Suva had the upper end one year ago, upsetting Ba 1-0. And it is a bitter, bitter taste that was left for one entire year from Ba. So by form, both these two sides have won their pool games in Group A. But currently, Ba is leading the standings from Group A. At the top, Ba have defeated Nandrunga 3-0. And Ba defeated Lambasa 1-0. Suva having played the same opponents, Suva also defeated Lambasa 2-0 and defeated Nantrunga 1-0. So both having earned two maximum points on six points. The only goal differential is Ba is has four and Suva with three. So the winner here definitely will secure the top spot of group A. So there's the one-touch pass and just looking to draw. 
the defenders out of their own half. That's what Mba has been very, very known to be very good for. Mba is, uh, uh, could be the first team here to settle down in this match as uh, they are uh, going around uh, in the first uh, one minute of play. And we have seen in the past and we have seen in many tournaments uh, that has uh, come that Ba love to hold position. And that is uh, uh, the advantage that Ba always holds. And uh, with that uh, uh, position, they have a lot of uh, times uh, uh, put threats on uh, many uh, teams. And that is what they are uh, doing uh, in, uh, here at uh, Arvind uh, Suba today. So Suba, they thump it right to the front to Ravi Ganesh Singh. Runs away very quickly and just like that. Just like that. Ba slows it down once again. They're not in any rush to make anything hasty. Knowing that they've learned their lessons from last year. So whichever team will win this game will face Rewa in the second semi-final tomorrow at 7 p.m. And the runner up here will likely face Lotoka in the first semi-final. And here comes Ba right on the flanks. Brought back out to Ronil Kumar. Ba. Don't draw. Puts it up high and a uh, Verity Dixon comes out. Dixon has a lot of confidence and he clears it out. Well, just until then, otherwise it looked quite well. And that shows all the nerves in this side. And Leonin Damudamu is the captain for Suba. And I've got word that Leonin Damudamu is uh, the captain for the first time. And he's one player that has not normally been seen to be a captain C material and quite a lot has been surprised that Gurjit Singh has pinpointed Damundamu as the captain for the Fiji fact so this is a very important match also for Damundamu as Sunny Isa just sends it through to Clarence Clark Clark still going back to Nayoko to Remueri Takiyate and bring it around to the Mbulian Thorn draw. Here's the speed style we just love to see play up front. Thorn draw. Inside. Back out again. Bar playing with so much patience. Here they come. Ronil Kumar inside and the white wall is so solid. And it seems like that the Suva is playing the 5 3 2 formation. Uh, they've got five defenders at the back, uh, three at midfield and two in the front. I'm sure that that is as heavy as they can make it is Ronil Kumar is trying to pull them out from their comfortable zone because that's the best, best way that they can play Suva but Suva now on the counter can be so dangerous also Remueru Tekiate Suva goes up high Charlie Andreola. Contested there by Sunny Isa. The man who scored against Labasa last weekend in the second round at the ANZ Stadium. Suba. So Shalestian, the referee, awards it. Suba. There's Clarence Clark. Clarence Clark throws it very quickly. Five minutes gone. Playing his best game uh, in uh, Vodafone, uh, Fiji Pack, Clarence Clark from uh, Guinea in uh, Africa. It's great to see yet there was this theory that Bao was a, a team that only fostered local players, and it's good to see that that opportunity has opened up now and they've become such a stronger lineup. Spinning it around at the back to Vatanimbuli to Dondro. Dondro with a through pass. And still, once again, Suva. The defense of the five defenders at the back. Still too solid. Too solid. Game going on with slow pace at the moment. Like uh, nothing constructive have uh, come out uh, from uh, the two teams uh, so far. And uh, let's see what the two teams have in store for us here as both the teams are through uh, to the semi-finals 
and they are not uh, taking this game as seriously as this is the time. Th the way they have been playing, William, we have seen that this is the time for them to build their combination and uh, test uh, uh, their players because when it comes uh, tomorrow, it will be a knockout uh, stages and uh, this is their last uh, opportunity to get things right. That's correct. Avinesh Swami with a big, big kick on the left foot and it just sails way, way above the woodwork. Bar tops this pool with Suba. Lambasa and Nandronga both are at the bottom of the table. Both Lambasa and Nandronga have both played two games, both against these two. And they've both lost the same and goal differential, they're way off. Lambasa with a negative three goal differential. Nandronga negative four goal differential and there's a blood bin right there. Heavy, heavy blood coming off the forehead of uh, Chosefata Nembuli and that is uh, very serious. And it's uh, great to see that the St. John Ambulance ever so present. And hats off to St. John Ambulance. A very hardworking bunch. They send an average of uh, 15. And I know for a fact that that young man right there of the St. John Ambulance, he was the same young man that was present during the zone athletics Fiji secondary schools meet at Super Grammar. And then also at the Fiji finals. And I can tell you he was one of the most impressive St. John Ambulance uh, assistants that came out rushing and he was even faster than some of the athletes. So well done St. John. Continue to do the job. Abu Zahid, Shahid. Clearance here from Colin Yosiwoki. And a big, big clearance. You can see on the Bankman side, it's full. Right at the Bankman, Soti on the grandstand as Avinash Suwami turns back. Goes inside now. Here comes the back three. Clarence Clark. No rush. Dekiata. Dekiata. Still Swami. Swami, Tikiata, and also Nayoko. Those are the three at the back, and here they come again. They seem to just build up, build up momentum, and when they seem to feel that they have something, they fire away. Nayoko. Kumar, back to Avinash Suwami. Goes for the cross. And he's looking for that one fatal mistake, and there you go. From Sunny East, that's so dangerous! Oh, what a mistake! What a mistake right there! The most unlikely man there, you will do something like that against. Never ever gamble against Sunny Isa. That's what's going to happen. One nil, bam! Open up the scores just in the ninth minute. A silly mistake by goalkeeper Bereti Dixon. He had ample time to stop uh, hold uh, that ball he tried to uh, stop it with his uh, kick then uh, Sunny Isa came he just threw it uh, to uh, Sunny Isa and there was no one marking Sunny Isa on that occasion when he had uh, all time to just take the shot in the goal mouth look it, it got worse but then it got even more worse <laughs> when he passed the ball directly to Sunny Isa so happy birthday Sunny Isa from Verity Dixon right there it's not one of those moments that you'd like to remember, especially in a crunch game such as this. Suva. They can't believe that a goal has just gone against them. Rokongida cleared towards the front. Avinash Swami brought it back. Johnny Ralulu. He can't believe it. Verity Dixon can't believe it. It could be a pressure when in uh, first instant, uh, when we saw in the first a few minutes when he held the ball, when he took the shot, it just came straight out. And uh, he, from then on, he was not able to touch uh, the ball. And when it came suddenly to him, he was just panicked and couldn't uh, sustain the pressure at it allowed. And this is the first goal that Suva have considered uh, in this uh, tournament. Certainly, Mba have now smelled blood. So they are now much more hungrier than they were when they come into the field of play because they know that Dixon is a very shaky customer at the back. And they know that they can turn, continue to fire away at him because he's now the money man in this game, Clarence Clark. Mistakes like that could be uh, really costly for the teams, but uh, you should be lucky that Suva are already into the semi-finals. 
so it won't uh, matter uh, them a must but uh, for Suva uh, the Gulia Sitamani Sau he has uh, started the last two games he's the number one choice uh, goalkeeper in this uh, tournament and Verity Dixon was given a chance to prove himself here but with this uh, mistake I think coach Gurjit Singh will be thinking twice whether to put him in the semi-final tomorrow or no. Dondro to Kumar Kumar Dondro Tekiata and also with Lesinia Nayoko it takes a lot of patience to be able to play a team like Mba and not to fire when you're not supposed to. It requires a lot of guts to even do that. And that's what happened in this case for Suva. They beat the bait full. And that's what's happened. Avinesh Swami, Isa. That was Nayoko, in fact. And the turnaround here, Shahid. Isa inside the through pass. Dreola, Dreola to the front, and this is the best chance here. But too much speed right there from Remueri. Takiata. Rolulu soothes it down again. Zumba, Dondro. Or this Dondro, in fact. Isa. Right on the far end there, there's Dondro. He's the speedster who I would have loved to see in the front, but uh, he's aligned on the right because he's the man that can feed so many balls as Sunny Isa. Falls a bit of white jerseys into the box. Back outside, and the uh, free man was Clarence Clark. Right at the top is Suva. Defends with all their might. He's turning around with Joan Dreola. Clearance from in. He tried to find Aaron Underwood. Right at the top, and uh, there's that sense of urgency as Lysenia Nayoko falls back. Dreola. Inside Suva. Damudamu. Damudamu. There's the clearance over the top and uh, found a Sakaraya. Sakaraya up against Takiata. Well, Takiata is in the right here, in fact. So, Takiata. Now, watch this. It's the push. There you go. Now, watch that. And there you go. There was the Hollywood, as some call it, in football circles. Uh, referees don't buy that kind of play, and that is a good call from Shales Chand. And that was also very good defending by Remuri uh, Takiata. He has been a strong uh, man for Ba in the defense. Ba. Almost 15 minutes gone and uh, the clock is winding by so quickly. And here's Suva. Underwood. Underwood quite solid at midfield. But Isa, the dribbling skills is just too good and too fast. As Ba again find themselves with another opportunity just on the side of the net. There's a Mabelik on the Kama. One of the men who scored th one goal each last weekend against Nandronga in the first round, but Nakama. Now watch this, he was marked by Jonas Nadeva and just went on the side of the net. That was close. Hanging clearance, Suva. Ba. Pranil Kumar. Challenge Riola uh, and he's left behind again by Sunny Isa. They just don't get to learn that Sunny Isa is the last man to be playing 50 50 ball and he's on side here. Here comes Suva and a real opportunity. Abdul Moshim, the cross towards the front here from Ravinesh Singh. So the two Singhs combining quite well there. Very Dixon on the far end, what's on, but Johnny Rolulu comes forward just to soothe it down. Takiata, Swami, towards the front. Clarence Clark was going in front, and here's Suva again. Sakaraya Naisua. Naisua dribbles a bit, turns around, and throws it straight to the bar players. Kumar. Brought back out. Here's the big three at the back. They're very solid in just waiting. And Nimbuli Swami here. Swami to Dondro. on the far end brings it back to Swami slows it down again Kumar no Kumar Suva left it behind but Kumar gathers again finds Swami Dondro lobs it over the top 
Namadamu Isa suits it back down. So Mbah pretty much not going anywhere as Isa tries to light a fuse. But Suba, a bit of juggling skills. Ravinesh Singh. And only one man, Aaron Underwood, was the only option of breaking away. But Mbah's strategic play is very simple. They're just trying to throw the mistake into the wind. Looking for a mistake, then take the opportunity. That's uh, the game plan of Yogendra that uh, he always uh, loved uh, to do that. Uh, he had uh, told his bar players to hold the position and uh, attack when it's uh, necessary and uh, and uh, to pull uh, the Suba defenders uh, away uh, from uh, their goal mode. And we have seen that on two occasions. So that's what exactly was uh, done when Issa Sunny pulled two of their Suba defenders. And that's where Avinash Swami and uh, Ronil had a chance to walk in and uh, put the pressure on uh, Suba team. Dotro, right at the far end. Look to get the follow-up pass, and it's uh, taken away here by Suba. Possession, majority of the possession here is from Bai, and he's onside here. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Suba comes away with the ball. And it's good defense from Remueri Takieta. But Aaron Underwood, there is a great effort for him. Oh, it's certainly worth mentioning, but it's just too fast. The defenders from Ba Swami. Limbuli back to Swami. Stakiata inside Swami. Swami and I here's the through pass looking to Clarence and Isa. Those are the two danger men in front, and so too with Abu Sahid Shahid. The one touch, Suba. Ravina Singh. Umar is all over the place. And here comes Ba with an opportunity. Ba is still going with the through pass inside, but deflected by Colonio Sovaki. Suba. So 18 minutes, almost halfway through this uh, first spell. She was Chalendriola puts it back again and then straight to the worst man. San Isa, the cross in the front, but just a little bit too far. For Abu Zahid Shahid and right over the top and chips the woodwork. Shahid proving to be a very important weapon in the bar arsenal. But here's the mistake that once again Bar has counteracted on. Right there. He should have set up Avinash Swami, who was free right in front of him. Otherwise, there is opportunity he took by himself and just went begging right at the top of the woodwork. Takiata. Kumar at the back, they bully. Takiata, Swami. Turning around and Clarence Clark does well. Swami crosses over to Nimbuli. Nimbuli to Dondro. Dondro has been a little bit quiet here as he tucks it low and just a chip over the top. A very, very neat one also from Shahid. And he continues to work with Meli Dondro outside on the wing and so too with uh, Clarence Clark. So Sunny Isa with uh, Shahid. Those are the two that are working in front. They're combining well, Colinio Siboki. A big clearance. Sakurai. They Suba, they're still going. This is the furthest we've seen them. Underwood. A number of jersey. It's very smothering right at the back from Ba. Every time Suba tries, they get shut down. Swami. Into Isa. Isa back inside. That's well done. Back to Swami. Just a bit of miscommunication from Nakama. It's Mabaliko. Swami. It's a 
challenge there by Eric Chan. That's the longest pass over the top that we've seen from Bar. They played it very safe. Up until now, Clarence Clark, the two important players with Sunny Isa, working together. Suva, that's Naisua. Naisua, the through pass and an offside. <laughs> right there, that was so close for Ravine Singh and he's telling him to pass it much earlier because he had delayed his taking off the mark. Bar from the back, Remueru. Swan. Isa. Back on Aimbuli. That was Nayapa to Aimbuli. Yata on the far again. Bondro comes down. So they're pulling Suba even further, further out from their goal mount. As we hit the 21st minute of this clock. Clarence Clark take off right over the top and an offside call is Sakaraya Naisua chases on to him. Suva Melidonta brings it back and here comes Suva. This is the first time but there's just no attackers in. What a faint attack. That's a very desperate, desperate attempt at the goal mouth. And it just doesn't seem to be any reply at all from Suba. All hard work from the midfield and uh, flanks uh, uh, have been uh, wasted uh, by uh, Pranil uh, Kumar as he tried uh, to take a shot uh, from uh, a long uh, range. And uh, from uh, that range, it will be very, very hard uh, to score the goal and his uh, attempt. Uh, was uh, easily saved by goalkeeper Chone Rolulu. Nayoko. Swan. Sami with a fancy. Pass towards the back name Bully. Ronil Kumar. The veterans of Mbati. Looking at the back, his name Bully to Nayok again. Nayoko has come up as furthest he's ever has. I mean, Swami turns around, but Suve once again as Meli Dontro comes forward from outside of the wing. Dontro. Mar and the one touch pass is very simple to Dontro. As they try and set up something better. The tons of territory and possession from Ba that uh, spells a lot of trouble for Suba as we are now just past the halfway mark of this first spell. So still 1 0 Ba. And that result has certainly given them the top of the Group A standings as Ba currently leads. With Suba in second place, Lambasa and Andronga with two games from two losses so far in the group A. Suba. It certainly was a big, big, massive blow. Oh, that's onside. That's onside now for Suba. So the ball control and the finishing will be very important as they turn around. And it just goes off the side of the face of the goal mouth. Right there from Clarence Clark. R rather, that was Raviness Singh. In fact, it was. Yes, it was. But it's the uh, ball control that is very important in football. Especially in those kind of crunch moments and rare moments also. It's something that they should be practicing back home in the, in the field of play, especially during training. Something like players like Sunny Isa certainly mastered. There was another, another opportunity for Suba that took quite a while. I see a don't drop. Just clarifying that, that was in fact I see a don't drop. One of the uh, three Dondro brothers that's playing in this team. Uh, 
Meli Dondro is in fact in the bench. There's Avinesh Swami. Put on a big, big effort on the left foot. And he deflected off Charlie Andreola. Suba. Leads it all the way out. Well, that's the best that they can do so far. Turning around, Leonid Damudamu, the skipper. 